Newmort screening saved thousands of lives every year with a simple heel prick test, but where you live plays a role in whether doctors can catch certain potentially deadly disorders. As our On Your Side investigator Jonathan Hardison found, Alabama used to be last among states in the number of screenings, but that's changing. What starts with a pinprick on the heel of a tiny baby, just hours old, becomes a series of samples and then blood tests that can tell a complex story that can change these young lives forever. It's great because that one tiny little blood spot, we can get so many answers. Answers in the form of tests that look for certain conditions that might not be obvious at birth, but may have devastating or deadly consequences. It's absolutely critical that every baby is screened. So most of these conditions are incredibly rare. Generally, there's not a family history. Family may have never even heard of this. A doctor may have never heard of it. The recommended Uniform Screening Panel, or RUSP, is an ever-expanding list of conditions created by a federal committee. Right now, it's limited to 37 conditions and diseases, but there's nothing uniform about the newborn testing in general nationwide. Our national investigative team discovered the things your baby is screened for depend on where you live, with each state deciding for itself which screening it can carry out. There's so many good things about doing these newborn screens, and, um, and, and that's why we're committed to doing this as rapidly as possible. Alabama just added two more screenings to its panel and now screens your baby for 33 of the 37 recommended tests. This is extremely complicated. Um, it requires a lot of background work, uh, running samples to make sure the machines have been validated, uh, make sure that we know what the, um, what the rates are in our particular population, um, and making sure that we have protocols in place along with our specialty physicians so that we, if we do identify a newborn who might have these diseases, about how they uh, seek treatment. Your life shouldn't be dictated by the zip code you live in. In many places, it is, and the loss of Elsa Seeger's son set her on a mission to change that. I don't want another mother to be me, and I don't want another child to suffer the way he suffered because I can't really explain how bad that suffering was. Aiden Seeger seemed like a happy, healthy six-year-old, but it was problems with his vision that led to a diagnosis of adrenaleukoid dystrophy, or ALD. The disease, which impacts the brain and nervous system, first took Aiden's sight and then his ability to function and eventually his life just a year later. And I said, why are we not testing for this condition? Because if we would have known at birth, he could have been monitored and treated before it was too late for him. ALD testing eventually came first in New York, where the Seegers live, after Elisa lobbied at the state level to have it added to the screening panel in 2013. In 2016, she successfully helped make the case to get ALD on the national RUSP list. But more than seven years later, only 36 states and D.C. included in their screenings. Alabama just added it last month. Many states require tests that aren't on that federal list. We found as many as 88 different newborn screenings performed around the country. Some states count in their total number both associated and secondary conditions along with the core conditions. Um, the, the ones that Alabama is reporting are just only the core conditions. We do screen for many more if, if, if you consider the other conditions that we, that we test for. Um, so it's very hard to compare numbers state to state. The State Department of Health says it plans to add two more screenings by the end of the year, bringing their panel to 35 of the 37 tests on the RUSP. Over time, we, we hope that we'll have more people that will be involved in the lab. We'll have our staffing that will shortages will decrease and we'll be able to get these screens in place much more quickly. Jonathan Hardison, Fox 6 News on your side.